Welcome, Taurus Gemini, to your March 28th through April 2nd reading. Welcome all subscribers and welcome anyone new to my channel. <clears throat> Oops, still have these up from the last one. Sorry about that. Okay, and let's get into this. Hope everyone is doing good on quarantine. Trying to keep yourself busy. Okay, let's see what's going on in your energy. Let's see. And guys, don't forget to check out the chakra readings. So you can pick which sign you resonate most with. Um, they are done under the elements. So it would either be earth or air for you. Okay, and I did them at the end of the month, I believe. So they are up for March. And I will also be doing um, Astro Dice for the first time to keep everyone busy and myself busy. And kind of check that out and see how everybody likes that um, next month. And uh, that's going to be astrology versus the tarot with the houses, the 12 houses. So that will be really fun. It'll start hitting some areas that tarot doesn't hit. Okay, so be sure to check that out. And it'll be it might it'll be done the same exact way. You'll have to go to um, either Taurus or Gemini for yourself. I don't think I'm going to do it under elements. I'll just do it either Taurus or Gemini. Okay, so, or you can watch both, however resonates with you, however you want to do that, okay? So, in your energy, what you're thinking and feeling, you have the Ten of Cups. So, even though we're having this, this um, quarantine, you're still trying to keep yourself as happy as possible right now. Okay. You're trying not to feel down. Trying to keep yourself motivated. Okay, let's see why. It looks like maybe because you have your family home, so you get some family time. That could also be a possibility. Maybe you're playing some board games, reading, playing video games, whatever it is you're doing. Watching Terror together, who knows? <laughs> okay, but you feel empowered. So you're keeping within your power. Okay, so that's good. So right now you're in rejoice and celebration. It seems a little weird, but I can see why. I can understand. In the near past, you had the authority upside down. I'm keeping this card upside down at this time versus it is meant to be upside down. You did not feel like you were in authority. You did not feel like you had the authority. Okay. In the near future, you will have foundation and achievements. Very nice. Okay. So your foundations and achievements will be right side up. This is the card of the Four of Wands, okay, which is that passion and that house and that love. And it's also a card of manifestation, which would be the Magician card, okay? So this is a card of um, complete law and attraction, okay? So whatever you were law and attracting, whatever you were manifesting through love and the Four of Wands and yada, okay, and yada, yada, okay, is coming, or it's either coming to you or you're thinking about it. Okay, we will figure that one out. Okay, but ne nevertheless, it's in your energy. Okay, for the near future. So why are you rejoicing in celebration? And I see that here over here with the Ten of Cups. Like, you're just really happy. Maybe you, you've been working so hard, you're like, well, I'm just going to take this time to just hang out. It's because of self-sacrifice. And you don't really feel bored or disconnected. I think it's because you're hanging out with, you know, your kids and your husband. And I don't know. You just don't really feel bored or any disconnect. Over here in the past, you have the, you didn't feel like you had any authority. Maybe you're feeling more authoritative because you got your power back, right? You didn't feel any authority within your partnership and alliances. They're upside down as well. But you had passion and ignited. Like you wanted your partners, um, ships and alliances to be more than they were. Because you had passion ignited. You were feeling passionate against this partner or this job or whatever this passion is for. But it feels like they weren't, re they weren't um, giving back. 
but you were trying. Maybe that's why you're happy now, because now maybe they were working too much or you, you know, that you couldn't feel their passion. And now you're starting to feel it because you're all at home together. Okay. So. <clears throat> over here really fast the foundations and achievements and we'll go back over here when we get the uh, tarot cards going okay just trying to figure out what's going on over here with you guys foundations and achievements nice beautiful chakra card getting a lot of chakra cards for all the readings of cusp so that's very nice this is the I have you know what you have this is your foundations your roots and as we can see, there is a lovely, beautiful home here. So maybe you're feeling like I have a beautiful home the way I wanted it to be. Now that my spouse is not working as hard, we reconnected within this relationship. And now we have a better, a better relationship. Maybe you were manifesting that you guys would get um, into a better foundation, right? Okay. Okay, so let's see if I on the base chakra. Yeah, you feel like your fulfillment of wishes is being fulfilled. It almost feels like you were manifesting that your, your spouse would come back to you, that they wouldn't be working so hard, or, you know, maybe they were ignoring you because they were working so hard. And when this happened, you were just kind of like, yes, you know? And yes, you did have, it is a self-sacrifice though. Yeah, there was a self-sacrifice that had to go through this. If you guys are all quarantined at home, there's really no money. But it almost feels like it was the chance that you had to reunite with this person. I can in the near future. I can have fulfillment of wishes. I know the truth. And of course this could... No more heartache and loss. Oh, look at that. Okay. So no more heartache and loss about this person. Okay. So <clears throat> it's going to be resonating a little bit different with everybody on what exactly the storyline is here. But this is the one spirit is giving me. So if I see another one or hear another one, I will let you guys know. Okay. But this is what I have. And I really do feel... <clears throat> That, you know, this is a, this is actually a good thing for you. This is actually more of a good thing for you than it was a bad thing. Yeah, maybe money-wise it's a bad thing, but love-wise, companionship-wise, family-wise, this is a very good thing. So in the past, yeah, you're just getting the emperor upside down again. So the authority card is the emperor. So in the past, you have the emperor upside down. Okay, you did not feel like you were in, in control Maybe you were even feeling that they were manipulating the situation. Or maybe you felt that you had to manipulate a situation to get their attention. Because I have the hermit here, which makes me think maybe at certain times you were even trying to manipulate the situation to get this person's attention. This, I keep hearing spouse. And if it's not a spouse, it's somebody very, very close. Like maybe you're engaged to this person or you've been with this person for many, many years. Okay. And that's not for everybody, of course, but <clears throat> okay. But it just never was going in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune upside down. It was never in your favor. It was almost like either you were hermiting away, you know, no, actually, you know what? I, I don't, I think you were manipulating a, per, a situation because you felt that they were working so much. They were hermiting themselves away from you and you kept trying to keep your passions ignited. This could also be the cross washer. So. But, um, yeah, but there was, uh, it was bad cycles. It was never in your favor. Okay. Or like I said, the other way around, you're manipulating a situation. They were not coming towards you and you ended up hermiting yourself away. Okay. However you want to see it, but you kept thinking and dreaming and maybe this is where you're starting to, um, you know, kind of wish upon that star. We'll clarify on that because I think that might have been when you were starting to kind of uh, dream about them because he is sitting next to the Passions Ignited. You were starting to dream, like, I want them to come back. I wish that they would come back. Okay. 
and it's love. Okay, you're dreaming about your love. Okay, trying to even make new steps forward. And here's that self-sacrifice card in the past. Okay, now you have to self-sacrifice. You're making a leap of faith. This is the same card. This is actually the, um, sorry, the fool card with the transition card because it's making that leap of faith for yourself. Something you have to do that's self-sacrificing. So this is a death card with the fool card. Okay. So yeah, making that transition, you're going to transition for yourself by making a leap of faith. Okay. And self-sacrificing yourself. Okay. And you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Okay, and you just feel like the more that you're self-sacrificing and taking a leap of faith towards them, they're just being cold because they're so busy that they're not recognizing you and they're not taking any action right now because they're, they were doing, in the, the, remember this past, they were doing what they were doing, working so hard that they were ignoring you. Okay, you might not even got any messages from them. Okay, but you still have love and there's that passion's ignited, right? <clears throat> so, you're just waiting, you're reassessing, okay, and there you are, you're upside down as a Taurus, standing your ground, standing your ground, being the rock that you are, but, but being cold yourself, okay, like I said, you might have even been manipulating a, the situation, and I do believe that this is probably you unless like I said you could be dealing with a fire sign take it how it resonates because this is a Taurus Aries card or maybe they were also manipulating the situation maybe you both are manipulating the situation they're using their work time because they're tired so they manipulate the situation no 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 I don't want to do anything I'm tired okay and then they started using it as an excuse perhaps Okay, but you could be dealing with any sign. I see all kinds of stuff. This is your card here as well as Gemini. But yeah, I actually feel like maybe you both were being a little manipulative because this I know is you. Okay, unless you're dealing with another earth sign. Okay. Otherwise, I don't know. I feel like you're both doing it. I think you're both manipulating a situation. You're manipulating to get love and they're manipulating because they're tired and they just want to relax and permit themselves away. <clears throat> so you're really happy. It's almost like you're quarantined. You're coming home. Okay. And ha, I got you in my grips now. Right? So you're not discontent and bored. You're like, hey, let's go ahead and step into this new chapter is with 10 of cups as much as we can because now we they don't have an excuse anymore they cannot bail out from you okay they have no excuses it's like the perfect timing to heal to get see spirit is going to let us know that this <clears throat> that this is your person okay not it does not mean that this person has to be a fire sign it's just the energy that they're taking on and so spirit is going to let us know that this is your person Okay, so you can't go anywhere. Okay, so they're sitting at home now just happy and moving forward and they're talking to you and they're doing the things they're supposed to do. Okay, and you're rushing in like, hey, okay. Or, like I said, this could be a cross watcher too. So, but then you started really, and you were manifesting, but like I said, you were manifesting over here. You were wishing upon a star over here with the page of wands. And so now you're really manifesting. You're like, can we take this further? You know, I want, you know, I want this a lot. You know, I'm enjoying this. I like the attention. I wouldn't doubt if I don't get a three of pentacles over here showing that attention that you love being put on that platform. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, you're just like, you. this is where you want and you're really taking that action. You're going, he's taking action or she's taking action towards you. So you're literally loving this and coming in fast and giving them back the attention and manifesting more attention. Okay. You might even be wishing upon us uh, the moon. Okay. This was your secret. Like this is my secret manifestation. It's coming true. Right. So it's moving towards me. 
you know, it's, it's yeah, it might be, you know, a crappy way that it had to go down, but here you are sitting as the queen of pinnacles in Taurus mode, enjoying it. Okay, enjoying it. Over here in the, <clears throat> In the near future, like I said, you have, you know, you wish upon a star. Now here comes that manifestation coming completely in. It's like everything has changed. You guys have been together so much now that you like, I wanted this. I get this and I feel fruitful in this. I can have truth. And the truth is I don't have any heartache and loss anymore. I don't have to feel the pain. I can totally feel the, you know, my heart's ignited. And here's my nine of cups. I got my wish. And that's your wish. And that's that moon over here. Okay, remember the Nine of Cups is something that you want that doesn't have to be good for anybody else but yourself. But it's almost like you, it's your, you know, it's, the Nine of Cups is like, it could be even your, it's your desire and it could even be a secret wish because no matter what, it's yours. It's kind of like your birthday wish. You blow out the candles, you don't wish for, you know, you don't wish for other people, you know. You wish for yourself. That's your birthday candle. Okay, so think of it that way. Make a wish. Blow out the candles. There it is. Okay. Yep. Got the support, the truth coming in with the Knight of Wands, and there he is again. Boom. Because who we say your partner is? Spirit says they are the Wands. So here it is. You have the support and the truth and the justice and the balance. The balance of the relationship with your Knight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, and they just keep coming at you as the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> He's coming towards you. He's supporting you. He, she. Okay, you have great communication now, which was idling before. You didn't feel it was any good luck. It always put you in meditation, but then you had realizations that it was always burdening, but the relationship always put you into this area. You didn't feel any hope and promise, but now you have the confidence. It's not, you thought it was a possible loss, but it wasn't made you feel neglectful, but you felt that you were entitled to this, okay? And yeah, you wished upon a star, and there's your four of wands. There's your four of wands. Boom. Okay? Beautiful. That's it. You got the passion. You got the love. You're wishing and you're healing, and everything came through. And you feel it, and you know it. And yes, it comes with the weirdest thing, you know? It's like, this is so strange. Like, this is the crappiest. And where you felt that you should be in doubts and insecurities, the only doubts and insecurities you had were about this relationship. This whole quarantine stuff, yeah, it gave you some doubts and insecurities with the Four of Cups, but nothing compared to what the relationship was doing to you. Okay, so let's see what the angels have to say. Yeah, remain positive. Just keep remaining positive, okay? Because if he hasn't rushed in just yet, it's coming in the present. So. I'm pretty sure it's already happening. You already know it's happening. You can feel it and just keep remaining positive for the future. Okay, wait for the perfect timing. Okay, just wait for that perfect timing in the near future and everything's going to be just fine. Okay, so I don't see any, I don't see anything bad here. The angels want you to know what animal to be. And then we will get to angel romance cards real fast. And beautiful job on the law of attraction over here, guys. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful. Using that law of attraction. Learning to use that law of attraction. Opening up those chakras and doing what you're supposed to do. And yes... Be ready to transform with wisdom. 
And where's that transformation? What did I say? Sacrifice. You are transforming, taping that leap of faith for the transformation. Very beautiful. And angel cards. What did I do with my angel cards? Those little teeny tiny little things. Oh, there they are. Like they're so small. Okay. I like these cards though because I have small hands, so they fit right into my little hands. Okay, so let's see what the angels have to say. Yeah. So for the finances and career part, you guys, this financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that, like I said, that could also be a big, huge factor. Okay. But get ready for the playfulness. I see that over here in the present. Oh, wow. So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. And I, I see that right here in the present. And I know that's why you guys are reconnecting. I see it in this 10 of cups. You're feeling playful. You're feeling happy. Okay. Even... When things are, you know, down and out, you're just, you know, giving it all to, you know, to each other. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see what all spirit has to say. Let's get another card. Ooh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So just continue to be playful. If it has something to do with career and finances, um, within the relationship, just know that, you know, right now is the perfect time, okay, for perfect timing and remain positive. It's sitting on top of the remain positive, so just remain positive with, with that, okay, and for anybody, huh, oh, I see that with the authority, just let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay, and everything should be just fine, like I said, um, you know, take it at how it resonates. If there's something a little more negative to it that you have, then, um, I'm sorry I didn't pick that up. Um, Spirit just threw this at me. If you do, just go ahead and have heart-to-heart -heart conversations about that. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Okay, and those are for you who say, well, there's not really working as beautiful as it seems to be in this reading. So Spirit wants you to know, yes, if that is true, that's why you need to let go of the of the control issues for the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, you guys? So, okay, and that could be also, wow, I just seen it. I didn't see that earlier, but it could be because, like, the realization of control. Okay, it's sitting right on top of it. I didn't even notice that. So if that's what's going on, and it's also sitting on top of that upside-down emperor, so if that is what the situation is, then just, like I said, remain positive and have that heart to heart. Okay. And I will talk to you guys later. And if you like this, please like, and subscribe. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.